keys that you must engage every time you meet the days of adversity every time you meet seasons that are uncomfortable in your life there are five biblical keys that that are the road map for you i give you a guarantee by the integrity of the word of god if you follow these five keys they will inevitably bring you triumph and victory above out of and over any situation whatsoever are we together join apostle joshua selman in a life-changing sermon that explores the depth of god's love and wisdom discover practical insights for victorious living and a closer walk with the divine don't miss this opportunity to elevate your spiritual journey and experience the extraordinary stay tuned the first key if you want to live the life of an overcomer in the presence of challenges the vicissitudes of life the first key listen carefully is the revelation of the love of god you must have a strong revelation of the love of god please pay attention you must draw your strength from the fact that you are his beloved you want to write that down beloved that he loves me very simple statement but it's powerful if you know anything about people who are in love there is nothing they will not do for one another so the awareness and the consciousness that i am not only his son but i am also his bride his jealousy is there to defend me first john chapter 3 and verse 1 let's look at a few scriptures you want to live the life of an overcomer the bible says behold what manner of love the father has bestowed upon us behold what manner of love that means look at the extent of love that he has so lavish towards you because let me tell you this when you go through hope that is deferred when you go through persecutions and all kinds of tribulations and criticisms listen carefully when you go through all kinds of um, emotional strains that come from this thing sorrow chances are that you will begin to reconsider the reality of God's love towards you do you really love me the first thing that went wrong when the boat was about to capsize with the disciples is they are they are listen to what they told Jesus carest thou not that we perish in other words why are you acting this irresponsible to what we are going through you seem to be non-responsive to our situation the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God the love of God the love of God Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 3 is a popular scripture here I have loved you with an everlasting love this is God unashamedly like a man declaring his love to a woman that he loves with all his heart he's saying it here i have loved you with an everlasting love it says and i have drawn you with my loving kindness i have loved you everybody say he loves me, he loves me. yes sir when you have a revelation of the love of god then you know that he's not silent listen carefully what's that song now he never sleeps he never slumbers he never tires of hearing our prayer when we are weak he becomes stronger so rest in his love and cast all of your care on him can we sing it one more time powerful song that he never sleeps he never slumbers he never tires of hearing our prayer when we are weak he becomes stronger so rest in his love and cast all of your cares on him listen 
so rest in his love and cast all of your cares on him it's an advice it's an instruction in righteousness so rest in his love and cast all of your cares on God is speaking to you so rest in his love cast all of your cares on him you are not the first to fail in business listen please rest in his love cast all of your cares on him you are not the first to go through a barrenness situation that seems shameful so rest in his love cast all of your cares on him you're not the first to be challenged by armed robbers and kidnappers no find rest i will rest in his love cast all of my cares this is a prophetic word to a family to an individual you may be a man of God here. You are in a season where things are not working. Ministry is as if God did not call you. Others have turned to tell you, just go and look for a job because this is your thing. We don't know the name of what you are doing. There are times when the results are not obvious. It is very painful because there is no explanation you can give. There are times where people will ask you, where is your fasting and where is your prayer? There are times, it's a popular thing, especially across Africa. Where is your God, they say. Where is your God that people are dying in your family? Pastor, where is your God that while you are preaching, you do not have a child yourself, they say. So rest in his love. Cast all of your cares hear me only answer questions that have rewards don't cheapen yourself to respond to every question you will be asked in life why is this family like this if you love the lord it's an unnecessary question learn to rest in the love of jesus romans chapter 8 and verse 28 jesus is speaking now and we know huh, we know it's an information that is privy to those who are in the kingdom if you are out of this kingdom you may not know because it does not look like it those who are out of the faith walk by their sensory perception but we who are in the kingdom the bible says we are privy to an information we know that how many things including the painful departure of a loved one all things including the loss of the job please hear me all things including the appointment you thought would be you and it was someone else all things all things work together for the good of them that love God this is a love realm this is a love affair to them who are the called according to his purpose how many things all things apostle i missed my flight all things work together if you learn to see through the eyes of the spirit you will be grateful grateful don't sit down and say this family is it that nobody will rise in this family no 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 learn to say thank you lord i do not know what you are doing but i'm grateful because in your wisdom I trust your love for me we have some of our little children in the ministry and many times if I make them a promise that I'm going to buy them something if they see me they don't care whether I'm under the anointing or whether I'm under whatever they will remind me and come with absolute confidence and they use an implicating word daddy they don't call me apostle they call you apostle that's membership daddy is relationship so they run and come to me yesterday while we're having our time with the school of ministry students they just came to me and said ah there was something they wanted to eat 
and you see the moment they say daddy they leave that one is either you are really daddy daddy is not by you have to demonstrate the capacity to provide or you now have to painfully look at these children and say sorry you people should live here there are times where you should not be embarrassed to be a child again and let abba carry you when the oceans roll and thunders roll i will soar with you above father you are king over the storms here's your part that i will be still and know you our god my soul be still and know you I will be still and know you are God. My soul be still and know you. When the oceans and thunders roar, I will soar with you above the sky. Father, you are king over the storms. And I will be still and know you are God. I will be still and know you are I will be still. I will be still. Oh, receive it as a prophecy to your life. I will be still and know you are I will be still. I will be still and know you are God. I will be still and know you. Just the voices. I will be still. I will be still and know you. I will be still. I will be still and know you. So you can look at your rent, eyeball to eyeball. You can look at your child in the ICU. And with the pain in your heart you can look at your health and the medical diagnosis that you have cancer and you are about to go and you can sing this song not to an audience you sing a song where you are the minister and you are the audience yourself there are times you need to be the prophet of your destiny ladies and gentlemen please hear me you need to summon courage tonight Father, you are king over the storms. I will be still and know you are God. I will be still and know you are God. Don't be ashamed of your tears. Jesus wept. It is not inhuman to cry. It is not lack of spirituality to cry. Hmm. Be still and know you are God. I'm not singing, I'm ministering to you. Be still and know you are God. Listen to me. When Satan wants to destroy you, he will isolate you and magnify everything around you. So that you no longer see the faithfulness of God. All you see are mountains around. All you see is the situation or that, that seems to negate what God has said. Hear me. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. Be strong. Be strong. There is something called the life of an overcomer. You can stand and look at everything young man will you be able to rise one day and take care of mama i may not be able to show you any result right now i don't have much to say let my future do the speaking i will be still and know you i will be still hear me I want you to find strength in the love of God. A Christian is not just one who goes to church. 
a believer is one who is so jealously loved by the God of heaven look beyond your challenges please hear me believers I'm ministering to you by the Spirit no matter what the pain is look beyond it and look at Jesus don't just look at him as the powerful God you need to look at him as father Lord I know that you love me your jealousy has been so invested in my life this I believe there are people going through all kinds of storms right now listen to me though I walk through the valley glow, I'll fear no evil by the water still my soul my heart will trust in you my heart will trust in you listen to what i'm saying this is not a special number my heart will trust in you Lord my heart will trust in you apostle you're only speaking now because you have food to eat at home as I'm sitting right now I have three children four children I do not even know how they are going to eat after service can I minister to you find strength it always does not look like it this is what makes you an overcomer there is no gift of overcoming no overcoming is not a gift he that overcomes he says that you will be given a white stone you will be given a name on that stone you will be given a a mystery manner that provides strength notice what he does the first thing he does to the overcomer is he strengthens you by giving you manna that gives you strength there is always a word from God that makes you an overcomer the revelation the Bible says in Romans chapter 8 and verse 28 we read it that all things not some things please listen to me it is not unusual for you to cry you will find many instances in your life where you have to cry cry with your children cry with your company you know after the pandemic last year believe me without exaggeration there were many people who retired from ministry and said I'm tired with this serving God I cannot serve God like this and have my children beg for bread I hang my boots Lord just know that I'm born again but as far as serving you is concerned discouragement how about those who lost their jobs some of you here looking at me how about those who have gone through all kinds of tragedy you started this year with joy not knowing that you will have a reason to cry and now from bereavements to disappointments to pain when you know that he loves you you can find strength because perfect love has a unique ability to cast out fear if you know that he loves you you can find strength listen to me brothers and sisters do not let the devil use your challenges to interpret the love of God no no Satan is a master of the flesh realm he can use everything happening to you and make you think is this how love acts I thought the Bible says love gives where is the giving financially where is the giving maritally where is the giving in terms of fruitfulness where is the giving in terms of politics find strength dear ones there is the revelation of the love of God that he who began a good work in me He who began a good work in me. Oh, that's a prophetic word to someone. 
He'll be faithful to complete it. Ah. He'll be faithful to complete it. He who started the work, he'll be faithful to complete it. Hear me. The same energy it takes to continue is the same energy it takes to go back. You must make up your mind. Whether you go back or go forward is the same energy you will dissipate. Make up your mind that I will take that leap of faith even if it means to walk on water. That if I perish, let it be that I perish at his word. Number two, let's hurry up. We need to pray. Ah, my spirit is fired up. I know that God is ministering very deeply to people in this place. Allow him heal those wounds and bring you a life of victory. Number two. What is the second key that grants us the grace to live as overcomers in spite of challenges? Are you ready? The second is the power of the word. Particularly the administration of comfort that comes with scripture. The power of the word. Engage the power, engage the word. The Bible brings us comfort. Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. Scripture can bring comfort to the believer. For whatsoever things were written aforetime. Let's look at a few things that were written aforetime. Abraham waited 25 years. He still had a child written aforetime. Job went through all kinds of things. You would look at Job and think his end had come. But at the end of his life, he had twice everything that he lost written aforetime. What else was written aforetime? A young shepherd that looked like he had a destiny without color and without dignity. Serving sincerely but remaining a mediocre. Now exalted to become king. Written aforetime. The arrogance of kings outside of God and they were brought down to their knees. Written aforetime. The Bible says, whatsoever things were written aforetime, they says they were written to make us students. Why? So that we through the patience and the comfort of scripture might find hope. Hmm. So every time I open my Bible and I read through these stories, I read that once upon a time the nation of Israel stood before the Red Sea in front of them. The Egyptians coming with fierce anger behind them. And God still came as a deliverer, written aforetime, to make me a student that God is able to save to the uttermost. Are we together? That once upon a time, humans, not a parable, they were so hungry on earth. Manna came, not grains that they had to prepare. Angels' bread came. Written aforetime. Once upon a time, the land of Samaria was ravaged with hunger. In 24 hours, God turned their lives around. Written aforetime to make me a student. One time, Paul and Silas were jailed, bound, hand and feet. The Bible says at midnight, they prayed, they sang aloud and everybody heard them. Suddenly, the mighty deliverer came. There is nothing that is new under the sun. There are people who started from ground and God lifted them up. There are people in ministry. There are people in business. There are people in career. Listen to me, gentlemen and ladies, believers, people of God. Koinonia, the body of Christ. God is speaking to us. Whenever you go through situations that look challenging, that is not the time to run away from scripture. That is the time to stay true to the word of God. As we conclude this enlightening sermon by Apostle Joshua Selman, let the depth of knowledge 
shared today be a catalyst of your ongoing educational journey. Apply the principles of wisdom, understanding, and divine insight in your pursuit of knowledge. Remember, ed education is not merely about information, but a transformation of the mind and spirit. Carry the touch of learning into your studies, professions, and daily life. May you continually grow in wisdom and impart your spheres of influence positively. Go forth, empowered to be a beacon of knowledge and light. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe so you can be the first to get our video. God bless you. See you in the next.